Welcome to the latest Zukiya Media Dev Blog. Today we are talking about Alpha version 0.5 of Calories for the Colony. I'm Brian Weiss and I'm the developer. I'm Mary Weiss, I am the producer. All right, so let's get right into it. Um, not a whole lot of things, but there are a couple cool things that we worked on this past spring. The first thing that I want to talk about is actually um, in the web version that you're all able to play. So let me back out of this. Kind of exciting. We have now enabled a secure web domain. Uh, this actually took a little bit of work with screwing around with the web sockets and stuff, blah, blah, blah. Point is now it doesn't look like we're trying to steal your credit card information. So uh, that's good. It's good to have that there. Um, and it means that it'll actually come up better in searches and all that stuff. So boom, that's done. Now on to probably the most exciting feature that we enabled uh, over the past sprint, and that's explosions. Let's actually go to the new level that's added. So we have an exploding block now. Boom. Oh, that's going to be lots of fun. You can obviously complete this level in one go, but there's all sorts of things that we'll be able to do with that. Um, I haven't enabled the sound effects for it yet. Maybe I'll get that in next sprint, but we do have something kind of big coming, which we'll get to in a bit. Um, a couple other smaller things. Uh, when you want to exit out, I now have a Are You Sure dialog. I'm going to clean this up, the look of it, but the functionality actually works, so you can go back into the game if you want. Or, of course, you can exit. Um, camera movement. So we've enabled a couple things here. So firstly, so right now I'm using the Wasai keys to move. You can probably hear it on my clicky clack keyboard. Now we had a request, and I think this makes a lot of sense, to be able to use the right mouse button in order to click and drag to move the scene around. So that's what I'm doing right here. So a little bit more fluid. You don't need to use the keyboard for it. And then you can take your shot. On the subject of taking a shot, you can now cancel your shot. It's a little subtle, but if you've kind of committed to shooting here, oops, I've gone a little bit too far, well, you can start, uh, you can hit the right mouse button and that cancels your shot and allows you to move. So it's like, okay, no, I didn't want to do that. No, that doesn't look good. So the reason I canceled the shot with the right mouse button is because I feel like if you are used to moving the camera with that button, then you'll probably automatically, when you want to cancel a shot, you'll probably be like, oh no, I want to move, and so it'll just kind of automatically happen. It's kind of a UI you don't have to think about, at least that's the hope anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all we've added in this version. Uh, Mary, can you tell us a little bit about what's coming next time? So this is really exciting. Um... So what we're actually looking at doing is getting it into uh, Android. So we're going to pour it into Android. So this is all we have for the next sprint for version 0.6, but it's a really big issue. Feature <laughs> I don't know overhead. If it's an issue. Yeah, we'll call it a feature. And now it might be actually pretty easy to do. I don't really no. Uh, mm -hmm. it, usually it's a pretty easy thing in Unity, like, oh, I'll just change the thing. But there's a couple things that we have to keep in mind, right? Um, one thing that I know that doesn't work so well, so we have these textures on, like the sugar cubes here, that uses something called a normal map, which kind of controls how the lighting works. Normal maps don't work very well in the mobile environment. You gotta be careful about using them. You have to be careful about shapes. Now we don't have a very complicated, you know, 3D environment here, but those are considerations. We wanna make sure that the textures aren't too big, um, that sort of thing. So that's one of the things we'd be looking in, and probably the biggest thing that we're gonna to have to be focusing on is how the controls actually I was about work to, in Android. I was yeah. about to bring that up as to how the controls, since I know you spent a lot of time working with the mouse, getting that yep. done without the Wasad keys. I'm curious how this is going to work. Now, in my limited experience in Unity, Unity, I think that it'll actually go over pretty easy with the controls, but again, I don't know. It might need some tweaking, and then we have to work on the idea that there's going to be, you know, it's going to be one code base, but we want to work maybe a little bit different in mobile um, than we want it to work uh, on the PC or when you're in the browser. Uh, one other 
bit that we're gonna have to work on with this is the overhead. I wanna be able to release this to people's phones for testing and that sort of thing easily. Uh, there's different ways of doing that. I know the technology's changed a little bit over the past few years, but you, there used to be a thing called like Hockey App, I think, and that allowed you to install one app on people's phones and as you release new versions, it kind of updated it. But, you know, that's all stuff I'm gonna research and look into this week, so. So yeah, I think that's gonna be a big chunk of the next couple of weeks while you're doing the sprint so yep. i think that's a, a really good thing and then if it goes easy then i'll go and you know i'll start taking some other tasks on the sprint to, to look at so and then here's one interesting thing what are we going to do for the dev blog next week if it's on android i'm going to have to figure out how to screen capture or run it through uh mm -hmm. the uh what's it called the, the emulator yeah so lots of things coming Lots of things to be thinking and working about for the next, next sprint here. And on top of that, I'm working on some other projects. I'm not sure. Why well, are you rolling your eyes? We always Too have other projects? projects. Well, I just get ideas, and that's the way it is. Uh, so, I don't know. Uh, actually, let us know if you think we should keep these dev vlogs just talking about one game, or if I should just use it each week to talk about all the things that I'm working on. You know, that might be a way to go. So, just a thought. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thank you. Uh, remember to follow us on social media. The stuff is down there at the bottom of the screen. We'd like to hear from you and uh, have fun. Keep cool.